Hello and a warm welcome to this edition of Eco at Africa, your European and Pan-African magazine show. My name is Joy Doreen Bira and we're coming to you from the Nairobi National Park here in Nairobi, Kenya. And for those of you who have never seen buffaloes, that's what they look like. Hello, NT. How are you doing? Hi. I'm Nel Tai. We're coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. We focus on exciting innovations around environmental issues across Africa and Europe. We first head to Kenya to meet a species future generations will probably never see. Poachers have driven the northern white rhino to the brink of extinction. On the black market, its horn is more expensive than gold. By the year 2010, no northern white rhinos were known to exist in the wild. In Kenya, just one male and two females are left on the grasslands of the Olpegeta Conservancy near Mount Kenya. And it looks like they can't have babies. In the shadow of Kenya's second highest peak, Mount Kenya, the Old Pijata Conservancy is a very special nature reserve. Not only because of its abundant wildlife and stunning landscapes, but also because of its three northern white rhinos. Being the last of their kind, they bear the burden of ensuring the survival of the breed. To create the optimum reproductive conditions, all Pijeta left nothing to chance, yet there's little hope. number of uh, mating recorded, unfortunately none has translated into a pregnancy. So we then decided uh, well, the best thing would be to bring in a, a southern white bull and expose that to one of the northern white rhino females. Southern white rhinos are closely related to the northern whites, but the efforts to save northern whites by crossbreeding failed. Biologists have found out that the two remaining females are not capable of reproducing. With the male also incapable of breeding, their extinction seems to be a matter of only a few years. Only 50 years ago, the northern white rhinoceros roamed throughout Uganda, South Sudan and the Central African Republic. But growing rhino horn demand in China and Vietnam, where it's used in traditional medicine, led to a poaching epidemic. By 1990, just 25 northern white rhinos were left. For Warden Mohamed Doyu, the breed's impending extinction is nearer to his heart than for many of his colleagues at Old Pijata. I don't do this for money. I've loved animals since my school days. I've not done any other work apart from dealing with rhinos. That is what makes me happy. I love them because they are just animals. They are harmless and they don't even talk. Yet they are mistreated and hunted down by poachers. The father of three boys says his relationship to the gentle pachyderms is a very emotional one. I've raised the orphan rhinos whose mothers have been killed by poachers. We've spent the nights with them in the bush. I would spend the night beside her. She had two blankets and had two of my own. When she was hungry, she'd push me with her horn to wake me up, like the way a child wakes her father when she wants to pee. So I take these rhinos like my own children. Biologists say northern whites may well be extinct in the next 10 years. So scientists are now turning to high-tech reproductive techniques. They might be the last chance to save them. As an emerging technique, uh, we just need to be uh, careful that we have looked at all the risks involved and therefore we can get a signal on when we can start uh, doing that. The method involves creating northern white rhino embryos, which could be gestated by southern white rhino females. But even if the program is successful, it will take decades for the breed to bounce back. Until then, the last three of their kind will have to remain under armed protection. <laughs> <laughs> 